All right, for our hearing loss chat, um, I almost wanted to post the same video I did yesterday for another channel, but I decided not to. So today <laughs> we're going to talk about hearing loss and the needs in the community to, to improve things, to improve accessibility for us. So um, such as uh, the AMC theater that we stated, hey, we want to go and watch movies at your theater, um, but it's not accessible, so what can we do? So we engaged in very long uh, dialogue with, with them, and they finally agreed to have captioning in some of their movies and have the equipment up to date uh, for us to be able to hear. Uh, the movie. So uh, that was something that we did on the national level and with other movie theaters. So um, this is something that I want to propose for all of you. You know, there are a lot of places in the community that are not quite accessible for us, such as banks, such as grocery stores, pharmacies, uh, the homes we, uh, we rent. Um, restaurants. <laughs> oh my gosh, restaurants. Uh, that would be a little bit more difficult because that has to do with technology for us to be able to hear in a group. So, um, so that, that would be uh, challenging in a restaurant. But to have a, uh, or spaces, spaces for us to be able to meet that it's more enclosed and blocks off all the noise from from the other people enjoying the restaurant. So, so this would require people with hearing loss to speak up. This would require people without hearing loss to speak up. <laughs> so, um, so these are the things that I spoke about in the other uh, video, but it had to do with mobility issues um, and safety, uh, but also accessibility for those uh, with mobility issues. But for us, it's a little different because we want to we, we want to hear and be able to uh, buy our groceries without saying what so many times. Um, I almost never can hear the cashier uh, and I can't quite see the, um, the cashier register to see how much it was uh, because I'm in a wheelchair. So the counter is just a bit high for me to be able to see it. So um, I just give her a $20 bill and hopefully that covers. If she looks at me a little weird, then I hand her another $10 bill. Um, I don't know how other people do it, but, you know, for... For these uh, registers to have loops uh, would be awesome. Wouldn't cost too much. So, it 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 what will it do for us to speak to uh, a few managers, either by ourselves or in a group, to uh, for the banks to uh, make their counters more accessible for us, because uh, we have to deal with the screen. Uh, and, you know, they write to us, but also it would be nice if they had a loop for us to be able to hear. Um, pharmacies, the same thing, because we have to deal with the glass. Uh, pharmacies, a lot of times, are facing, you know, dangerous situations in which there are drug addicts who are seeking uh, drugs. <laughs> and so they are threatened, you know, to, uh, with their lives. And so, of course, we have to deal with the glass and other obstacles. So in, in the pharmacies, it would be nice if they had loops for us to hear. So it, it is about all of that in which are you willing to work with, with a pharmacy and just say, you know, would you be willing to, uh, you know, I have these signatures from the community or would you be willing to work with XYZ grocery store in your neighborhood and say, hey, if there are one counter uh, or two that would have a loop, that would help us a lot. 
uh, and explain and educate what a loop is and, and purchase two of them uh, for it to be accessible for us to hear what the cashier is saying. Um, you know, we need things like that. We need to step forward and and try to make the world a little bit more accessible or for someone to really step forward and say XYZ restaurant, you really like that restaurant and to ask for them to enclose an area so it's more soundproof and people with hearing loss can, you know, enjoy their meal with a group better so they don't have to, you know, deal with the noise, and, but a, a, a quieter area somehow to enclose it um, and separate it from other tables so that the people with hearing loss, which are many, uh, can enjoy a meal with their family. So this is, you know, I, I gave an example to uh, my pastor the other day. We were sitting together and having a lunch and I said to him, you know, Paul, I think it's time to put a ramp on our altar. Now, there were plans to uh, refurbish the, the church, to do some uh, rehabbing. And, uh, and I knew that, but I also thought and felt that, you know, I wanted to get on the altar to be able to help. Uh, help with the readings, help with the Eucharist. So, but I can't, I can't get up there. There's no way. So I just said, it's time. It's, I think, it, I feel it's time to put a, a ramp on the altar. And the pastor looked at me like, okay, who's gonna use it, Lisa? So I mentioned quite a few people and uh, he said, oh, okay. So he didn't say anything more than that. He just said, thank you for the idea. That was it, that was the end of our conversation. And a few weeks later, he came back to me and he said, I went to the team that's going to uh, do the uh, rehabbing of our church. And they said they could add the ramp onto the altar. I was absolutely stunned, <laughs> flabbergasted, shocked. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> so, so, that's it. They're, they're going to add a, 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 a ramp <laughs> to the altar. At what point will we do this uh, rehabbing of the church? I don't know, uh, but it, it will be soon, hopefully. So <laughs> here we are. <laughs> it was just one short conversation. It was just one short idea, and there it is. It's going to happen. So that's what I'm I'm saying to all of you with hearing loss to have those conversations with the managers of these stores, of you know pharmacies, uh, of your favorite theater, um, and you know you can do it alone. You can do it with others. Uh, you know because we have a lot of aging members in the community, and they have hearing loss already. And we've either been born with hearing loss or acquired hearing loss uh, earlier on in our years. So I want to invite all of us to consider targeting some place in the community and see if you're successful to uh, get a loop in, in the facility or uh, whether it's your clinic. You know, there's all kinds of ideas. And just, just target one place. If all of us across the map target one place and um, and encourage that facility or that agency to put in loops in their on their counters, how much aggravation would we save and nervousness would we save and strain would we save <laughs> and be able to communicate with the people we need to engage with every day. So that is my invitation. Those are my ideas in which, you know, this this could help. This could empower each one of us to begin with. And then it might help the community out there, the, the services that we want to access also change and be aware. 
And so um, that, is, that is my invitation and see how successful we are. There are sufficient members of us to go out there and do it. It doesn't mean that we have to do it, you know, it could be another person, uh, could be our partner, could be a friend that goes with us. Uh, some of us are good speakers, uh, some of us are not. <laughs> so, so for those of us who, who have difficulty speaking, you know, find someone that can go with you and <clears throat> work with this little issue in whatever facility you, you want and that you want to have more access to. Um, certainly, uh, the grocery store for me would be one, the pharmacies would be another. So um, I'm hoping that I will find a place that I go to often and see if they'd be willing to put in a, a loop so that I can hear what the cashier is saying. Because what they have to say is important. And I want to get through the cashier saying, wow, I really heard that. <laughs> I really knew what she was asking for. So that is my invitation. That was the video I did for the other channel. But I wanted to put the twist of the hearing loss in this one so that we can um, go forward and, and know, wow, I did that. <laughs> and they responded. The manager really took me seriously. So, and it'd be that relationship, that new relationship that we establish in the communities. So, that is it. Uh, that is my invitation. You can put your, uh, your comments down below if you already did this. And if you did it and were successful, uh, that would be awesome. Because then uh, we would see how the, 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 the establishments out there have grown with us and are reaching out and walking with us instead of against <laughs> us sometimes. All right, people, thank you for coming. Thank you for spending a few moments with me and listening to my invitations. And I hope all of you are well and stay safe.